Hey folks, this is Eric Warren with Tanoi, back for video two. If you missed video one, you can watch it here. In this video, we're gonna focus on some general room setup guidelines as well as some placement tips for your monitors. So you've chosen monitors that are the right fit for your needs in your room. You've opened the boxes, ripped through all the packaging and have your shiny new monitors in front of you. It is Christmas day, isn't it? Why, of course. Let's talk about the room. Where are you going to be, which is called the mix position, and where are the monitors going to be located in relation to the room? If you have the option of an empty room for your studio, you can optimize your setup. We won't get into all the physics of it, but there are a few guidelines you can follow that will make placement absolutely perfect. What is the room like? What is its size and shape? Is it square, rectangular? If it's rectangular, you want to set up so you're firing down the length of the room. It's always best to have the wall behind you as far away as possible, and if you fire across the room, you just won't get that. The further away the back wall is, the better. This will help minimize the audio bouncing off the back wall back to the mixing position. The best place to locate yourself is at 38% of the room length, roughly a third of the way from the front wall. Really easy to figure this out. Multiply the overall length of the room by 0.38, and that will tell you how many feet or meters you have to be from that front wall. Good morning, dear children. Good morning to you. The next big consideration is, is the mix position symmetrical? What's on each side of it? If one side is a wall and one side is open space, the balance of your stereo signal will be off. If there's a window with curtains on one side, you may want to put acoustic treatment or even just curtains on the wall directly opposite this window. The more symmetry you have in your room, the better decisions you can make about stereo placement. Finally, another suggestion that we always follow is not to have the tweeter centered vertically in the room. It's very easy to figure this one out. Measure the height of your room, make sure your tweeter isn't at the halfway mark. Lots of times in a project or home studio, we don't have the luxury of an empty room. We're trying to shoehorn in a desk into the corner or some other part of a bedroom or other purpose room. But try your best to apply these tips. Each one will make the most of your monitoring setup. As much as you will rearrange your gear endless times, you will really only have to place your monitors properly once. You will want to set your speakers up height-wise so the tweeters are ear level. Hopefully your desk has a shelf that allows this, but if not, you could use speaker stands behind your desk to get the monitors up to the right height. Another consideration are monitor isolators. Companies such as Aurelex, Prime Acoustic, or Isoacoustics all make monitor isolators. These tighten up the base reproduction and imaging of your monitors by decoupling and isolating the speakers from the surface they are sitting on. These aren't necessary with the Tannoy Reveals as they already have a rubber pad on the bottom of the monitor. They might help fine tune the height of your monitors in addition to providing more decoupling and isolation. The monitor should be set up in an equilateral triangle. This is a triangle where all sides are equal in length. The distance between the monitors is the same as the distance from each monitor to you when you are sitting in your mix position. Next, we will want to tow in the speakers, turning them slightly so they are pointed at you. You'll know you have it right when you look at each speaker and you only see the face of it and not the sides. Okay, that's all for now. In the next video, we'll focus on setting up and hooking up your monitors properly. You can go straight to the third episode by clicking on the video here. If you have comments or questions, please connect with us via Facebook or Twitter. We've put those links in the video description below. See you next time.